Hi all, welcome back to yet another video. Today we will see the novel Animal Farm written by George Orwell. It's a political fable on Russian revolution. Before we get into the story, let us see through the characters. First of all, old major uh, uh, who is a white boar and uh, next one is Napoleon he is the leader of animal farm and uh, he is one among the pigs then we have Benjamin Benjamin is the donkey in this novel and uh, he is the oldest of the animals that are living on the farm then Boxer uh, boxer is the male horse that lives on the farm and uh, he is the tallest and strongest of all the animals on the farm. Then we have the dogs. There are nine dogs which are uh, parented by Napoleon. Then Frederick. Frederick is the owner of Pinchfield. Then Johns. He is the owner of the animal farm. Uh, Pilkington Pilkington owns the Foxwood farm which is located near the manor farm and we have Snowball he is also a leader in the pigs and he is a young pig then Squiller uh, he is a poker pig Wimber he is a solicitor and works as an agent for the animals to make deals with the surrounding farms and human beings. These are the major characters in the novel. All the characters are animals. And let us see uh, chapter wise. When the novel opens uh, with the chapter 1, you will see Mr. Johns is the owner of the animal farm and uh, he is uh, heavily drunk and he hardly uh, makes it to his bed as he goes towards the bed the animals start to make noise and bustle because they are uh, to hold a grand meeting on the farm the agenda of the meeting is to have a, a discussion about the strange dream of the old major the animals are uh, slowly showing up in the barn Three dogs arrive which include Jesse, Bluebell and Pincher. Afterwards hens, pigs, cows, sheep and the horses Clover and Boxer come as well. The donkey Benjamin and the god uh, Muriel uh, do come as well. So many more animals arrive as well and the old major starts the aim of the meeting. Uh, by addressing all of them as comrades. He wants to impart his knowledge because he thinks he is going to die soon. He thinks that animals are not free and they live in slavery and misery. Moreover, he thinks that uh, they are not free because they are uh, being uh, subjugated by human beings. So he thinks that uh, human beings rob and plunder all the animals, uh, when the animals are left with nothing uh, to present to human beings, human beings kill them or slaughter them. He also announces that uh, the way to free life is that they need to start a rebellion movement. <coughs> he then asks all of them uh, to vote whether they should go into the rebellion or not. And the majority of them want freedom. He then shares his dream that uh, the state of happiness for animals can be achieved uh, once the man is eliminated. Now, when chapter 2 opens, after the meeting, old major dies. But the major um, uh, thing he does is that he unites all the animals. After his death, animals start their preparation for the rebellion. Pigs are assigned to the responsibility to gather the animals and teach them about the rebellion. Then Napoleon, Snowball and Skewler 
start teaching the animals about the concept of old major which is animalism they expand the ideas of animalism to all the people at the start animals have mixed reactions towards the concept of animalism uh, some think uh, that the system would work while those are those uh, uh, who were on the side of mr johns i uh, think that the system might not work slowly and gradually the animals start getting into the concept of animalism in the meanwhile mr john suffers economic losses and he gets engaged in excessive drinking this loss of control provides the animals an opportunity to chalk out their plan of rebellion in a good way uh, it it so happened one day mr john is slightly highly drunk and he is unable to feed the animals so the animals rush to their shelter and eat whatever is present mr so johns and his men come to beat animals they beat all the animals very hard the animals attack the men and they all free from the uh, flee from the barn all the animals remove the boundaries of uh, the uh, farm and change the name from the manor farm to animal farm the animals sleep well that night and they believe that a good life is ahead of them they also reveal that the concept of animalism uh, has some basic tenets okay and it is very important uh, it is seven in the list first one <coughs> uh, creatures that walk on two legs are our enemies secondly creatures with wings or four legs are friends third one animals should not wear clothes like human beings and fourth they will not use beds for sleeping and fifth animals should not drink alcohol and sixth animals would not commit the killing of animals and seventh one animals of all sorts are equal so these were the seven principles that uh, they wrote as the basic tenets of the animal farm then they decide to harvest and start harvesting <coughs> there in chapter 2 moving on to chapter 3 there the pig supervises the uh, supervises the harvest and the harvest is more successful than that of mr johns although these animals do not have the tools for harvest animal starts enjoying the life of freedom all the animals walk to their capacity on animal farm boxer is uh, the one who works harder uh, than the rest of the animals because he is uh, big and strong in animalism all the animals share their responsibilities and they seem uh, satisfied with the system the day of rest is sunday uh, there is another meeting in which the flag of animalism is raised in the next meeting they decide and plan uh, the working schedules for the week uh, the pigs help in making a room for uh, study where trade is studied some committees are made including uh, the clean tails league re education commu- commu- uh, committee uh, the egg production committee <coughs> etc but the committees are unable to produce the results the animals do not have good intelligence and are unable to remember the seven features of animalism so one basic commandment is made for them and it is four legs good and two legs bad this was the only principle uh, or the commandment that everyone could remember and follow slowly the pigs take control of the farms for example Uh, the pigs claim uh, right over the ripe apples first pigs want more milk and apples for their brain because uh, uh, they think that they are the ones who plan for everything so they are the <coughs> they are uh, giving too much uh, mental exhaustion as uh, they are uh, uh, you know giving ideas and planning for uh, everything they need uh, better food the animals want to stop these pigs 
but they are afraid that mr johns might return if they are not united and they believe that they are united because of the pigs that is how uh, chapter 3 ends now moving on to chapter 4 summer arrives and the word of uh, the rebellion reaches the surrounding farms as well mr johns also informs the other farmers about his mysteries and the rebellion of the animals the farmers do not like each other but they are afraid that the same rebellion uh, might take place in their respective farms as well uh, so they all unite together to fight the animals some of the farmers advertise the news on their farm that the animals of the animal farm are starving because they do not have food they think that such a news would discourage the animals from uh, their rebellious acts but the animals get the news that the word of the farmer is not true uh, so the farmers then spread the news that the animals of the animal farm have turned out to be cannibals animals of the other farms also start disobeying their owner and here uh, you know here and there uh, they started beating and fighting against their owners after some time mr johns gathers people to take possession of the animal farm the animals are now trained for the war the men attack with full strength but animals stand and defeat the men boxer and snowball stand out as the heroes animals call the war the battle of cowshed they also give some honors to the animals as boxer and snowball are conferred upon animal hero of first class why the dead sheep is conferred the honor of animal hero of second class posthumously they also decide to celebrate the anniversary of the battle every year on 12 october now in chapter 5 you will see in winter the animals feel that uh, molly is not performing the assigned duties molly is also sympathetic towards humans and usually talks to humans at the borders of animal farm it is also noted that molly uh, has sugar and ribbon stash after some time molly disappears from the farm <coughs> the weather becomes harsh in january and the animals hold many meetings to make some policies uh, they agree that the policies will be made by pigs so in these meetings napoleon and snowball uh, come in contrary positions and they usually disagree with each other some of the animals support napoleon while others start supporting snowball over the issue of the windmill uh, both these animals develops uh, a staunch conflict snowball designates the land where there will be a windmill that will provide the electricity to the farm and snowball also makes the plan for it but napoleon uh, urinated on the documents of the plan then uh, snowball uh, is suggesting that animals will be able to complete uh, the windmill in a year but napoleon thinks that all the animals might die in one year if they do not focus on the production of food some of the animals start chanting for the uh, chanting for the windmill while the other chant for food production now benjamin is the only animal who thinks that both plants are beneficial for animals there is preparation for another possible attack by the humans and napoleon and snowball again come in uh, a debate napoleon is of uh, the view that view to train the animals to use uh, firearms while snowball thinks Uh, other animals should be brought as well so the blueprint uh, for the windmill is completed and the majority decides for it but in the meanwhile napoleon brings nine dogs that chase snowball but he manages to escape the farm and uh, this gives an opportunity to napoleon and uh, he announces that on sunday there will be a meeting now in the meeting the animals are not allowed and the pigs uh, decide uh, the schedule for the next week napoleon starts dictating all the uh, uh, all the other animals and decides that he will not 
uh, only complete complete the windmill but also carry out other welfare plans for the animals too and there in chapter 5 now in chapter 6 you will see the animals start working to build the windmill and they work for 60 hours every week uh, in the month of august and napoleon announces that the animals may choose to come and work on sundays for the windmill he also declares that coming on sunday uh, is a choice of the animals okay but uh, if they do do not come they will get reduced to rations the building work for the mill, uh, windmill is in a uh, full swing but there comes a shortage of materials on the farm and animals are unable to produce these materials on the farm they start thinking about the possible solutions and napoleon comes up with the solution uh, that the farm animals would uh, trade the farms of the neighborhood and sell some eggs of the hens in this process of this uh, trade the animals have to meet contract with the human beings and this is contrary to the commandments of animalism the animals grow uneasy over the issue but napoleon assures them that there will be no contract the con- no contact with the human beings and that is and that it is only done for the welfare of the animals he then announces that on behalf of the animals of the farm a solicitor mr wimper will work as an agent between the animals of the farm and the people of the town slowly and gradually uh, the people of the town start accepting the existence of the animal farm although they do not like it <coughs> the pigs again come into the farm and the animals are uneasy with them but squealer satisfies them uh, that the pigs plan for the animals he also convinces the animals that nimbolian being their master uh, must live in the house rather than living in with them one night the windmill gets destroyed by the wind and uh, there are some footprints of the pigs napoleon announces that this destruction is brought by snowball he announces that snowball must be brought to the farm for the death Uh, a sen- death sentence and uh, whoever brings him will be awarded honor now <coughs> in chapter 7 in the winter the animals start working on the windmill again they also face the scarcity of food but the plan that they will not allow humans to know about their misery uh, because humans want the animal farm to fail due to the shortage of food many of the animals do not eat and they remain hungry napoleon does not appear in the public frequently he then makes a contract to sell around for a 400 eggs every week the hens disagree with the decision but napoleon stops their food and announces that whoever provides hens with the food will be given the death sentence hence uh, surrender uh very soon because in the span of a few days nine hens die in the farm the news is spread on the farm that snowball comes to the farm at night and creates mischief napoleon announces to look for the traces of snowball and to smell the smell of snowball in the farm news is also spread that snowball has taken a position with the animals to take over the animal farm Squealer tells the animals that Snowball is uh, on the side of Mr. Johns and he has been on the side of Mr. Johns in the battle of Cowshed. After a few days, Napoleon orders for the assembly. He is wearing the awards of the battles. Some of the pigs have opposed to the idea of Napoleon and uh, the dogs of Napoleon drag them out from the crowd. the pigs are forced to tell the animals of their activities and confess that uh, they are plotting with snowball to take over the farm they also confess that they have uh, destroyed the windmill with the help of snowball napoleon orders to kill the pigs and similarly some other animals are killed too after the assembly the animals are terrified and the squealer comes to announce that the anthem of the animal farm is replaced with the new anthem by napoleon and there in chapter 7 moving on to chapter 8 uh, 
the animals grow uneasy over the matter that the animal form is very much different than uh, than the one which old major advocated napoleon does not come to meet the public and the animals are forced to call napoleon a leader the animals are made to believe that all the success and development of the farm is due to napoleon forms of the glories of napoleon are also composed in the farm napoleon wants to sell the timber and the negotiations are carried on with mr pilkington and mr frederick in summer some hens are punished to death because of their plotting against the life of napoleon thus uh, the security of napoleon increases napoleon sells the timber to mr pilkington another misfortune strikes the farm and the fields of the wheat turn out as weeds the windmill completes in the due course of time the windmill is named napoleon windmill napoleon then announces that he has a deal with frederick of uh, selling the timber <coughs> he also announces that he does not have a deal with uh, pilkington he further announces that he told the animals about the deal with pilkington because he wanted to raise the bid price he also says that he is going to use the cash for purchasing machinery for the windmill he demands that the animals would uh, investigate the note and it's found that the notes are unreal he sentences death penalty for frederick by boiling him alive he then sends a word for uh, pilkington for a deed but he refuses frederick comes with his men and destroy the windmill the animal chases the attackers the victory is named as battle of the windmill napoleon titles himself as the order of the green banner one day pigs and whisky and uh, after a few days uh, the skewler announces that napoleon is about to die his last words are that no one should drink alcohol in the span of a few days napoleon is saved and he announces that they are going to make drinks now chapter 9 the winter comes and the ration of the animals is given to them in uh, low quantity but the dogs and pigs are given full quantity napoleon uh, parents 31 pigs on the farm and decides to make a school for them he announces that pigs are superior to other animals and they should be paid due respect the pigs bloom in the farm and uh, for the rest of the animals the times are hard with low food and forced for more production the end of the winter brings another announcement from napoleon that the pigs will be given beer in their ration too and more than half of the drink would be taken by napoleon in the month of april napoleon is elected as the president and the animal farm animal farm becomes the republic one day boxer falls ill with the work and asks for his retirement Napoleon announces that he will be sent to the hospital a van with a man comes and takes boxer the animals get happy that boxer will be all right soon but benjamin tells them that the van has written letters which say that the van belongs to the doctor who sells the flesh and bones of the horses the animals try to help boxer but they are unable to after a few days it is announced that boxer died in the hospital skewler tells them that the doctor has brought the van from the horse slaughter but has not painted it yet napoleon announces that boxer is going to be awarded the night of the ceremony comes and animals learn that pigs have a board crates of whiskies now chapter 10 the animals of the rebellion slowly die mr jones also dies in his home napoleon has grown fat uh, the farm becomes uh, big because napoleon purchases land he also buys machinery for the farm uh, the windmill is used for uh, milling the corn and they do not make electricity there is no retirement for old animals uh, he also makes the animal build another windmill for electricity the dogs and pigs continue their life of luxury the pigs buy telephones and have machine magazine 
subscription animals start wearing human clothing uh, humans are invited to the farm and the bad relations are uh, finished they start cooperating and trade with the humans and uh, the visits of humans increase on farm napoleon makes the animals work more and more and uh, he gives them less food and the humans and pigs usually play poker games and they usually fight each other and there seems no differentiation between uh, you know the uh, because the name of the farm is replaced with manor farm again so that is the end of chapter 10 and uh, the novel also in here thank you hope you have understood